Welcome to the good life. Oh. Welcome to the good life. The wait is over. Welcome to the good life. And after all the talk. Hello. Uh, I finally got back from my trip, so now I'm gonna make another video. <clears throat> okay. One person thought that I was using a Mac because I probably had the theme. And this right here is the Vista Brickle Pack. And here I'll just show you. Okay, so here it says System Microsoft Windows XP Professional Version 2002 Service Pack 2. Okay, so. Now this this one video is going to be about <coughs> hypercam and most of you probably already know what it is, know how to get it, but I had a person ask me about that. So let's see I'll find that right here. Um right here. Hey Purple Sheep, can you make a video on how to get hypercam? Right here, so twin B two six nine two. Here's your video. But before I do that, I just thought that I would fit this into the beginning of one of my videos since it's not long and I don't want to make a whole video about it. <coughs> and that's how to view videos in high quality. Right here, Pogo Batter asked me to do it. Purple Sheep, thanks. Here are some things you might want to make a video when you're back. And then, thanks, but I mean, get YouTube videos in high definition. Okay. So, here it is. When you go to a video, I'll go to, just go to this one. Up here in the URL bar, you don't want to delete anything, but you just want to type and FMT for format equals 18. And I didn't find this out on my own, so I didn't find it out. Okay. And so you click enter, and then it's going to be higher quality. See down here, watch this video in lower quality for faster playback. And so there that's it just wanted to fit that in okay now with the real thing how to get the hypercam and what you want to do is go to google and type in hypercam to download and <coughs> click on the first one Then let's see where did I go. Oh, then down here you click on download hypercam latest version. And then this thing should pop up while I'm using Internet Explorer. But you right click and download file. I don't know if you can hear that, but the phone just rang. That's what it is. Okay. So then, let's see. I'll save it. Save it. Onto your desktop. Click on save. And then, minimize this. And then you should have got something that looks like this. So, double click on that. And then this will pop up run. And yeah, I made this background with Adobe Photoshop. So if you want me to show you how to get a reflection, just tell me. <coughs> uh, this program will install Hypercam. Yes, I. Okay. You can read through that and then you I agree and then this will pop up tell you where to save it 
and I want to save it on the desktop and then you click OK. And Hypercam installation finished. Now you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. And this is all that you need. Find this mclick2.dll and just drag that over there. And camres2.dll. And then you can drag that to over there too. And then you'll also want the hypercam. And then the rest of the stuff you can just delete. So I'll drag this over to the recycling bin. Takes a while. Okay. There you go. And these two things you are going to have to have them on your desktop to be able to record. And if you don't, if you lose one of them, it's not going to let you. Okay? So, you click on Hypercam 2 to if you want to start recording. And select a region, you'll just be able to drag where you want to record. Whoops. drag and then you click start recording and that's it hypercam 2 yeah that's safe I think you wanted me to say that I didn't have any problems with it and what you want to do is once you make one here let's see I'll make one, see if it lets me make it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then stop it. And what that should have done is, let's hear, let's see, I'll pause this and get it on the desktop wall. Actually, let's see, go to my computer. Um, find my document. And then, see, it put it right here. This click. Just put it in your my computer folder. Okay? <coughs> and then, if you want to edit it, you're going to have to use. Windows and Movie Maker, and you just open that up, and I won't show you how to do that, it's pretty easy to figure out. If you get confused and want me to make a video how to use it, then just tell me and I will. And, okay, I've also been asked which thing I use, and here, let me exit out of this. This is Windows Movie Maker. Oh yeah, what I also wanted to tell you guys is that my email isn't working right now. So, I can't, like, I don't know when you guys comment on my videos, so I can't always reply. I'm trying to watch them and find out, but I can't always reply and if I'm not then just message me with the question too because that will be easier to find okay and so I've been asked which I use and I use Camtasia Studio and I use that mainly because the editing I can zoom in so you guys can see better but Hypercam too this is good program I used it